Well, what once looked like a Hillary Clinton cakewalk to the Democratic nomination now looks like a tough slog. KXAN political reporter Phil Prazen telling us the Bernie Sanders campaign is preparing for a long campaign that will run right through Texas. The race was so close in Iowa, a coin flip decided several delegates. Many call for a review of the totals. Polls all year in New Hampshire show a big win on Tuesday for Senator Bernie Sanders. Meanwhile, 2% separates the two candidates in the latest national survey. And the Sanders campaign opened its eighth brick and mortar office in Texas to make a play for our state. The east side of town has a reputation of being, well, liberal. We're trying to drum up all the support we can get for Bernie Sanders. Volunteers at the Sanders Austin headquarters make phone calls to supporters, reminding them the Texas primary is coming up March 1st. There are a handful of more than 10,000 across the state, according to the campaign, and this line of callers is literally two blocks away from the Sanders statewide headquarters. It's incredible if you think about in just the last Three or four months, it's gone from nobody knowing who he is to getting calls of support. Julie Niche volunteers for the Sanders campaign, and she says the close race brings out more volunteers. And our democracy has been bought. Um, I, Bernie Sanders is the only candidate that's going to address the primary cause of the corruption in our government. Texas played a major role in sending then-Senator Barack Obama to the White House. We'll, okay. we'll call back well, another thanks time. For me know. I appreciate Sanders it. supporters well, hope an upset <laughs> is in store for the Lone Star State. Phil Prazen, KXAN News. Well, there's still a lot of Texas turf for Sanders to make up. Polls show Clinton up here by more than 25 points.